give yourselves a hand because, my God, we're already feeling the joy and all the excitement that I don't even know what's going to happen. It's been nice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ce soir, on célèbre le tap. We are celebrating tap tonight with none other than the legend, la légende, la femme hyper importante, the most important lady in tap in Montreal and in this part of North America, to be frank, Mrs. Ethel Bruno. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor. I am so honored. I am so happy. Um, it's like going to bed and dreaming and getting up and I'm in front of a whole tap group. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can't tap, come tomorrow. We have a workshop for you people that want, want to do it, never did it before. We do have a workshop, so do come. I would like to thank, thank uh, the Rianne, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. These are the two people that put this together, which I did not know about until, until about a month or so ago. But I'm very happy to be here, I'm very happy to be able to get up here and tap that thing with my grandchildren and, and my other students. There's a lot of students here, a lot of people that took TAP, and TAP is a wonderful thing, and it'll keep you going, even if you can't go. <laughs> it will keep you going. So I just want to get going on the show, so it won't keep you too long, okay? One, two, one, two, three, go. Well, it don't mean a thing. If you ain't got that swing, do what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Makes no difference to this part of home. Give that rhythm everything you got. Do what, 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 do what,
gentlemen, Echo Bruno. So many times when I've gone to the, the uh, council and said, oh, 
I need money for this, I need, they, oh, it's tap dancing? They didn't give me nothing, so you know what I did? I mortgaged my house five times. Oh. <laughs> so, this is what, and thanks to uh, Liberty, and thanks to Sonia, we got it going. Thank you so much. Wait for me.
Randall Bruno and all his fabulous, fabulous dancers. Miss Swing in Hebrew. And let's hear it for these musicians. Thank you so much. Luke Magna, thanks you for being here. We thank you for being here so much. It means a lot, a lot, a lot to us. June Hibbe. June Hibbe. Keep, uh, keep an ear and an eye out because it's happening. Oh my goodness. Yellow. Yellow is the color. Travis made me think of Gregory. Because Gregory was an inspiration. I grew up with Gregory and danced in school. And just to see when Gregory would come to Place des Arts and get everybody on the stage and everybody would have to do their thing, it, it meant a lot. He was the kind of man that he was, when he came everywhere he went, he always got tap dancers up on stage. The first time he came, he, he didn't know there was any tap. He just hadn't heard from me in years, and we talked. He said, Ethel, where you going? I said, I'm teaching tap. And he said, oh, well, he says, I'm in Plastic Arts doing a show for cancer, bring some tap dances, and we all went down there. Now, when they got up on the stage, I think Travis was nine years old. And that was the first, Benny was on stage. I think a lot of us were there on stage. And just the way he got everybody up. Everybody had to do their own thing. And that's the way I think TAP should be. TAP should be, we're a family. Yeah! We're a big family. We're a big TAP family in Montreal. When we get together, we have fun. And that's what it's about. It's whether it's not how young we are or whatever. We are, as long as we can keep our feet moving. When I went to have the open heart surgery in 2011, my doctor was Dr. Marvel. Now he'd been tapping with me for 25 years. <laughs> and he was there outside. The, outside, I was in La La La, and he's outside. Oh, Ethel, do you remember this step? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, and I'm. You know, I, I, I dream tap, I live tap, I love tap, I eat tap, that's what I love. Yeah. And when you love something, you know, there's times when Kim, and Kim, oh, where's my partner, Kim? Kim, come up here. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my partner, Kim Reed. Started with me when she was how old? Okay. Four. <laughs> Kim is my right hand and my left hand and all of it. And sometimes we're sitting there going, how are we going to do this? Don't worry, we'll get it done. You know? And for me, I've been at Perbeck for what, 30 something years, putting on Ethel Bruno in Starbucks. Now, in that show, there are kids in there that are seven, five, four, seven all the way up until 85 years old. And my oldest, I think Lilo is my oldest, she's 85, 85, and she taps. 
She does not give up. She just goes, there's Judy over there, then there's, I won't say how old, but. <laughs> there's Lo, younger than Lilo, then we have Louise Cherwa over there, and then we have Helen, and Helen's daughter, uh, when we do it at Rebecca, hopefully her daughter, uh, Eva, will be there because Eva is Broadway bound. Broadway bound. And they always kiss and have talent. You know, you gotta push the talent. I don't care who you are, what you are, you could be purple or whatever, as long as you walk in the studio and you wanna dance, that's what I'm about. I'm about teaching people how to dance, teaching people I know some people tell me, oh, I took my kid to a dance school and I didn't have enough money. Well, it's not about the money because we're always broke. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> never, never about the money. When we get back, our studio may be closed because I haven't paid the rent. <laughs> but we'll find some place to dance. You know, wherever it is, we'll be there and we'll be dancing. As long as we're together, we're going to be dancing. You know? guys are amazing. They, they didn't get up to that and dance. Um, and I don't know. I, they need to get, come on up here and do a chorus or something. <laughs> and that's where are you? Where are you guys? Okay. You know what? I don't care who plays the piano, what you play. play call the drummer. Give them something. They want to be there so they can do something.
and Norma Miller, yeah. and one of my locals, <laughs> started at the Savoy Ballroom in Harlem. Swing dance is part of our culture. And and that's then brought it to Montreal, and they opened a club in the school. It's called Cat's Corner. Every Friday night, you can go there and swing your head off. <laughs> and they do bring other people up from the states to do shows. So ladies and gentlemen, this is what we do in Montreal. So don't forget. Oh. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, give it up one final time for Ethel Bruno. Thank you.